Hello, I am Terry Doms, the moderator of the board for First Christian Church in Corville. We, members and friends of First Christian Church, are building bridges. As we expand our programming and staff for children, youth, and music, we'll continue building bridges from our faith to newer generations. As we take on service projects and seek justice, we'll continue to build bridges between our hearts and persons in need. Pursuing our mission by the grace of God, we will continue building bridges from our fragmented world to God's wholeness. Hi, I'm George Gay, a lifelong member of First Christian Church. Over 150 years ago, our congregation was birthed by people who wanted inclusive community and actual deep spirituality instead of mere religion. Compelled by a similar version, we moved to our new building 12 years ago carrying a $1.2 million debt. In a few months, the church debt will be paid off, but we will continue to pursue that vision without financial debt, but with continuing challenges and opportunities requiring much generosity and effort. In January 2014, First Christian Church organized a visioning committee led by me, Dale Kepler. The Visioning Committee asked each of us to prayerfully consider our congregation's strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and challenges, and to then prioritize our goals for mission and ministry. We, the congregation, identified the programs and services which we understand God is calling us to over the next five years. Some of the programs and services you identified required immediate attention well before the final phase of the visioning process could be completed. An augmented budget for the second half of 2014 was quickly supported by new financial pledges, which provided increased programming and staffing for children and youth, as well as cost of living staff salary increases. In the past few weeks, the Visioning Committee received a high level of congregational participation in the Building Bridges Heart of a Servant Survey, which asked us to explore the activities that enliven us, feed our passions, and meet our needs. Our personal passions and abilities will be matched with the congregation's mission priorities and enable us to live out our callings as part of a spiritual community. Already, you may have noticed that more youth group meetings and youth retreats are appearing on the calendar. Sunday school classes for children and adults have been added, requiring a new set of portable room dividers to put a classroom in the fellowship hall. I am Quinn Thomas and I'm a member of the youth group. Thanks to the generosity of our many gifted musicians, our music is known in our community for its depth and quality. We plan to increase our staff time for our music program so it will continue to nurture us all. Thanks to the generosity and dedication of you, the congregation, we're excited that our mortgage will be paid off in February 2015, which is about three years sooner than originally planned. In order to accomplish this, we have deferred some maintenance on our facilities and spent down our emergency reserves. As with any other property, our facilities and grounds will need ongoing maintenance and upgrades to sustain our current ministries and build bridges to new programs and future ministries. For this reason, we have developed a five-year plan to renew our emergency reserves, provide for ongoing maintenance and upgrades to our facility to enable the ongoing vitality of our ministries. I am Gail Crow from the Stewardship and Finance Department. Based on the congregation's direction through the strategic visioning surveys, we expect to continue to expand programming and staffing for children and youth, including added retreats, camps, service projects, and fellowship events. We also recognize a need for our families to be building relationships with God and with each other, which is why you now see monthly family events, some devotional and some social, where all ages are welcome to come eat, talk, and play together. 
Also, based on the congregation's collective wisdom, we expect to address our community's needs through increased support of the food pantry, village community, shelter house, local, distant, and perhaps international work camps, and programs to maintain people in their homes. We want to honor our congregation's long tradition of support to regional, general, and global ministries of the larger church. So we are proposing a fixed monthly amount be budgeted for the Disciples Mission Fund. We will continue to offer many opportunities for donations through our church to specific causes, such as Week of Compassion, Reconciliation, and Disaster Relief. I am Jill Meadows of our Mission and Witness Department. As exciting as it is to be crossing the bridge from paying on a mortgage and to being debt free, we recognize that we must continue to be good stewards, not only of our facilities, but of all the ministries we share and are called to fulfill. In order to maintain facilities, rebuild our emergency reserves, along with increasing programs, staff hours and compassionate service, we're asking each and every one to continue or increase the generous level of support you have been gifting to our shared vision. You're probably asking, so what's the amount of the 2015 budget? Our proposed budget of $271,393 is based on pledges of $187,493 and other anticipated revenues. This pledge income of $187,493 is the same as the combined pledges of the general and building funds received in 2014. Your financial pledge, along with many hours of your skilled labor, daily prayers, and attendance, especially in worship and other gatherings, will continue to grow our shared ministries. Already this fall, we are required to upgrade our fire alarm system and replace part of our roofing. Next year, we expect to replace more of the roofing to conserve energy by adding an airlock to the east entrance to begin replacing incandescent lighting with more efficient LED lighting. We will also begin building up our capital reserve fund for bigger ticket maintenance projects on the horizon. We hope you will be present at the annual Thanksgiving worship service and meal on the Sunday before Thanksgiving. We will celebrate the gifts God has called forth from us to build bridges. We will hand in our financial and time and talent pledges in worship on November 23rd. If you cannot be present, please return your estimate of giving card to the church office before November 23rd. As we expand our programming and staff for children and youth and for music, we will be building bridges for our faith for newer generations. As we take on service projects and seek justice, we'll build bridges between our hearts and persons in need. Pursuing our mission, we will be building bridges from our fragmented world to God's wholeness. Please, Please continue, continue to, to help, help us build, build those, those bridges. bridges. We're gonna tell our story, sing it out strong. Our God is faithful and forgives all wrong. We're gonna tell our story, gonna sing it out strong.